exam, you will always be given two open-ended questions. These have no fixed marking scheme and is down to the, the marker to provide you with either one, two, three or zero marks in your exam. I've popped the expected response and additional guidance that markers will be given on the left hand side. The quality of your answer is very important. Now this is a way that you can try to maximise your marks. One, by giving a definition. Two, a diagram. And three, giving us a little bit of detail related to the question. Indigestion is caused by excess stomach acid and is treated using indigestion tablets, a medicine containing chemicals such as calcium carbonate that neutralise the excess stomach acid. A group of students were given two brands of indigestion tablet and asked to carry out an experiment to determine which of the two brands is the most effective at neutralising the acid. Using your knowledge of chemistry, comment on how the students could determine experimentally which tablet is the most effective. So this is the first example of you using our definition diagram and detail process. So one of the key words was acid, so we could give the definition of an acid, and that's when they have a pH less than 7, and this is because they have more H plus ions than OH minus ions. You could then draw a diagram, so you could have two beakers, and you could label the things that are the same and what's different. So we're wanting to investigate the different brands of indigestion tablets, so those would be different, but then everything else has to remain the same. So we say that the acid's the same, and that's the same type of acid, volume of acid, and concentration. Well, how would you know which was the most effective at neutralising the acid? This is where we have to go into a wee bit more detail. So you could measure the mass of reactants uh, being used up using a balance as ca uh, carbon dioxide gas would be given off. You would need to use a, a stopwatch to measure the time. And the one which the mass decreases the fastest would be the most effective. So that's us giving a definition, a diagram and some detail. For this example, we could give the definition of neutralisation, and that's when an acid and a base or alkali reacts together. We could be specific with this and give a word equation. So we've got the carbonate base, which is calcium carbonate, plus our acid, uh, which should provide salt, plus water, plus carbon dioxide gas. You could then give a diagram where we could repeat this experiment uh, for each type of tablet, and that is our diagram. Uh, where we're collecting the gas in a gas syringe and again we could state that the things of the acid that have to remain the same are the same type of acid, volume of acid and concentration of acid. How would you measure or know? You'd measure the volume of carbon dioxide produced and this volume uh, would be collected in the gas syringe and the volume would increase as time goes on. You would use a stopwatch to time it and the one which the volume increases the fastest will be the most effective. Example number three, um, for our definitions, you could give the definitions of an acid and a base. So acids, when they have more H plus ions than OH minus ions, a base is when we have more OH minus ions than H plus ions. And we could talk about how we form um, acidic or basic solutions. And that is when we have metal oxides, hydroxides and carbonates which dissolve in water to form an alkaline solution and that's only if they're soluble so you would need to use page 8 of your data booklet and non-metal oxides would dissolve in water to form acidic solutions so therefore calcium carbonate must be a base when you use page 8 and the fact that it's a metal uh, carbonate Again, you could do the labelled diagram of the gas syringe and show that the carbon dioxide gas would be collected in the gas syringe and telling us the th things that have to remain the same in our experiment. And how would you measure or know? You could measure the volume of gas being produced. The volume of gas in the syringe would increase. You could use a stopwatch to measure the time. And the one which the volume increases the fastest would be the most effective. You could go into a little bit more detail and talk about how you could work that out numerically. So you could use the formula average rate is equal to change in quantity over change in time. And the units for this specific experiment would be centimetres cubed per second.